All the CAG students, 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 all the CAG students. Put your hands up, up. If you like stress, think it's the best, want to use it to solve some things. But it's hard to recall the equations for it all, so you're looking for an easier way. Just move things here, square things there, and you're through the derivation. It's a simple trick, solve things quick, you won't be mad at me. Cause if you like it, you should draw a ring for it. If you like it, you should draw a ring for it. You'd be mad to use the equations for it. If you like it, you should draw a ring for it. Whoa, 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 Okay, students, I'm so glad to see you again. As you can tell, today we're going to have a fun Beyonce day, so we need to get started with our learning objectives. So I think I keep my learning objectives to the left, to the left, all my learning objectives. I keep them on the board to the left. So, what have we got today? We got to uh, develop Moore's circle equation. Then we're going to draw a Moore's circle and apply Moore's circle to solve some engineering problems. So, a uh, lot of stuff about more circles, so hope you're excited to find out uh, what it's all about. In the last lesson, we talked about stress transformation equations. And these were the stress transformation equations we derived. So remember, uh, we were looking at an element, our friendly little block, we pull it out of an object, and we said that we have stresses acting on it, but it's not good enough to know what stresses are acting in the x and y and z directions, um, but that we need to be able to rotate this block to different orientations so that we can find the maximum and minimum normal stresses, which we refer to as principal stresses, and also the max shear stress, because those values, the principal stresses and the max shear stress, will ultimately help us determine if failure occurs. So we rotated this block and we said at some arbitrary direction, we could solve for what we called sigma x prime. So that was sigma x prime and we could plug in uh, sigma x, sigma y, and tau x, y into this equation along with the angle of rotation and we would be able to solve for the stress, the normal stress at that arbitrary angle. We did this for sigma y prime and we also solved for the shear stress at that angle. And so that was the whole deal with the stress transformation equations. But these are somewhat long and I think difficult to remember. So we're going to talk about more circle today, which is going to help us remember these without us even knowing it. So I hope you're excited for that. In order to derive more circle, we're going to start with the stress transformation equations that we had developed last lesson. All right, so I want to rewrite this first equation. as sigma x prime, and I want to bring the term on the right over to the other side, so this is going to be minus sigma x plus sigma y over 2 equals, and I'll keep everything else on the other side, sigma x minus sigma y over 2 cosine 2 theta plus tau xy sine 2 theta. I want to rewrite this equation as well. And, uh, I'm going to actually leave it the same as it is, so I'm just copying, I guess, rewriting, and just copying instead of rewriting. I'm going to keep tau x prime y prime on the left, and then on the right I have negative sigma x minus sigma y over 2 sine 2 theta plus tau x y cosine 2 theta. Okay. I'll call the top one equation one, this one equation two, and all I'm going to do is take equation one squared plus equation two squared. So I want to take equation one squared plus equation two squared. All right, so once I add equation one squared to equation two squared, and I do a little bit of algebra, maybe some trigonometry, 
use some of my cosine squared, sine squared identities, those types of things. I can rewrite this equation as sigma x prime minus sigma x plus sigma y over 2 quantity squared plus tau x prime y prime squared equals, and if I do some of the math on the right hand side and I add all these together, I'll end up with sigma x plus sigma y, sorry, minus sigma y, sigma x minus sigma y over 2 squared plus tau xy squared. Now, does this equation look familiar to you? Well, I hope it looks something like if I replace this with x minus a squared plus y squared equals r squared. We see that this looks a lot like the equation of a circle with a center with a center at a comma zero and radius r. And so this big thing on the right here is the radius squared. We have, uh, this is going to be the center of our circle and uh, now we have an equation of a circle. And in fact, we have the equation of Moore's circle, uh, the whole point of today's lesson. Now that we have more circle equation derived, I know you're screaming at the computer right now, I want more, I want more. Well, I'll tell you a little bit more about our German engineering friend, Christian Otto Mohr, who developed this equation uh, for stress transformation. I like it because it offers a convenient way to do the stress transformation, to solve for the principal stresses and to solve for the max shear stress without having to remember these super hard equations. So, uh, if you're happy with this, I'd ask you to join with me in uh, Say Moore's name, say Moore's name when no one is around you. Say Sir Christian Otto Moore, 